Hey there and welcome back. So in this video, we'll be solving another cross-site scripting lab on Portuguese Academy. So let's get started. So this lab has a simple reflector cross-site scripting vulnerability, right? And the site is blocking common tags, but misses some SVG tags and events. All right. And to solve this lab, we need to perform a cross-site scripting attack that calls the alert function. Awesome. So before actually uh, solving this lab, let me actually tell you what is the difference between HTML tags and SVG tags in general, right? So if I go to Google, and type in HTML tags and click on this first link, you'll get a list of all the HTML tags. I mean, this is the list of all the HTML tags. So what do I mean when I actually say HTML tags, right? So if you go to view page source, right? For example, for this uh, web page, right? You can see that there is a HTML tag on the top. And similarly, you have a closing tag of, I mean, you have a closing tag for that particular HTML tag right here, right? So when I say HTML tags, it means that this particular list, all the HTML tags, you can use any of these tags in between this opening and closing of the HTML tags. Got it? Okay, let me just say that again. So you have HTML tag, right? The opening and closing HTML tag. In between these two, you can actually use few of the tags and those tags are nothing but whatever the tags that are present in this list. And that is why these are called as HTML tags. Awesome. For example, you can see that you have SVG tag here. For example, where is that SVG tag? So as you can use a SVG tag in between HTML tags and then you have sub, style, strong, you can use any of this. And that is why these are called as HTML tags because you can actually use these in between the HTML opening and closing tags. And similarly, we have something called as an SVG tags. So if you go to SVG tags in Google and enter and open this uh, first link. And here, if you expand this, you can see what are all the different tags that you can use inside the SVG tags. So you have anchor tag and you have some other tags as well. And if you observe here, you can see that you don't have video and audio tag. I mean, you don't have video tag here, right? Whereas if you go to HTML tags, right? You can see that you can use video tag, but SVG tags doesn't support video. So what it means is that you can't use all the tags. You can't use all the HTML tags inside SVG tags, right? The opening and closing tags. SVG only supports few of the tags and you have to use only these tags in between SVG tags and only these are supported. You can't use all the HTML tags and put it in between the SVG opening and closing tag. Got it? Now let me just head back to the lab and here the first thing we need to do is we need to find all the tags which are not blocked because it is clearly saying that this site is blocking some common tags. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to know what are all the tags that are not blocked, right? And it also says that it misses some SVG tags. That means it actually misses some of the tags inside this particular list. I mean, in this particular list. Got it? Awesome. So in one way, uh, this lab says that, you know, it, it actually allows SVG tags, right? So let us actually check that. So let me actually go to the lab and check if the SVG tags are allowed or not. So SVG, SVG. So the opening and closing tag of SVG and hit enter. And then if I go to the source code of the page, I can see that SVG tags are not blocked. Now that means I can use SVG tags in between these two, right? Awesome. But also in the lab, it says that it actually misses only some of the SVG tags. I mean, it actually blocks few of the tags. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to know what are all the tags, what are all the SVG tags the lab is not blocking, right? So first thing that I'll do is I'll simply put SVG. So SVG, right? SVG, sorry, SVG and close the SVG tag. And in between, I will simply put some random tag, for example, anchor tag, and I'll play around with this anchor tag in the intruder, right? So I'll capture this request. So go to proxy, intercept on, capture this request. And I got the request, send this to intruder, intruder, intercept to off, intruder. And then I'll clear everything and play around only with the name of this particular tag that I can use in between SVG tags, right? So I'll add this so that I can select that particular name, right? And then I'll go to the payload list and simply copy all the tags. So copy tags to clipboard and then come back to burp suit and then paste all the tag names right here. Right? Got it? And if you have any doubt, just ping me on Discord. I'll be there. Okay? So I'll start the tag. Right? So by the end of this, we should be getting all the SVG tags that we can use. And there you go. We got the result. So let me just uh, sort this by status so that I can see all the 200s on top. And there you go. We have animate transform image svg and title tag which are not blocked so let me actually write that somewhere right so i'll open visual studio so what are all the tags that are allowed one is animate transform 
animate transform image svg and final one is title so let us actually search regarding this particular animate transform right so let me just copy that and go to google and type for animate transform and let us actually see what it does basically right so the first link so the animate transform element so basically what animate transform does is it will actually animate your elements right but the important point here is that animate transform tag will take an event attribute it has an event attribute so if you scroll down it has animation event attributes so if i open that you can see that it has something called as on begin i mean in general on begin is something that is very famous i mean even i use in my daily life with animate transform so what we can do is using this event attribute right using this event attribute we can actually execute javascript right just like on click on mouse over here we can use on begin with animate transform and execute javascript code so let us actually try that so what i'll do is i'll simply copy this tag right so i'll copy this and go back to the lab right so this is our lab and then what i'll do is inside svg tags i'll use animate transform right animate transform tag so i'll simply open the tag and then close the tag as well and for this tag i'll give an attribute and that is called as on begin on begin so basically on begin what it does is before actually starting the animation this will get triggered so animate transform will actually animate an element before actually animating anything it will execute this on begin and it will execute all the javascript code that is inside on begin event right so on begin is equals to so do we have to alert a pop-up box which says something no we just have to alert anything right so alert one two three four five so in double quotes i'll give alert one two three alert one two three close the tag close the double quotes and this should work okay only if i change this s to a animate transform right so animate transform animate transform spelling is correct right awesome so let me just click on search and that should work and there you go we solve the lab and that is how you solve this lab thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and if you have any doubts join the discord channel i'll be there and in the future i'll be uploading more and more videos on xss labs and also my methodology on xss so don't forget to subscribe and see ya